In today's video, I'll break down why buffing shorty is a good idea. Welcome everyone to the next Lotus Lab. This one is going to be very short. -y. Because it's going to be about the gun, shorty. My god, that was a really horrible intro, but I will keep it, alright? So, why do I think that buffing shorty is the play for Varwind? Right now... <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, chat. Stop it. I'm muting right now. So, why do I think buffing shorty is the right play from Riot? Right now, shorty costs 150 credits. It was nerfed in episode 1, by the way. We're gonna talk about it in a moment. And it, after two years... Like, last year there was a recurrence a little bit, but right now, Shorty is metagame when it comes to secondary weapons. Because it has fast, fast equip time, right? When you think about it, like, Shorty has the 750 milliseconds equip time, which is on par with Classic, on par with Ghost, which makes it the best gun, depending on your position, of course, to play alongside Operator... A judge, sorry, not a judge, an operator, a um, Phantom Vandal, Spectres, uh, like Odin's, all of the guns that are good long range, it's good to have a shorty close range in, in case someone gets at your face to counter you, right? So shorty is a very fast equipped gun that has also a very high ADR, um, uh, or, or like DPS essentially, because one shot can be insta-kill, but typically will deal around 100 to 125 damage right so the thing is they also decrease the um the hatchet damage on that on that gun so since the gun is making a recurrence right now into the meta game and it's so cheap that essentially almost every single player is buying it why do i think it should be buffed well the thing is that if we keep nerfing shorty to the ground the gun becomes unusable Essentially, it will not deal much damage anymore, and it will lose its purpose, right? So, like, you're able to deal a massive amount of damage when someone is close to you. But if this is gonna be consistently nerfed, that you will not be able to, like, one-tap players with 150 HP with a shorty anymore, or the range will be, or, or the spread will be more RNG, or whatever is gonna happen with the gun, this will make the gun so inconsistent, it will just make it not be usable uh, anymore, right? So what I think that needs to happen to keep the shorty with its design in place, we need to buff the gun and increase the price. So it's not easy to just spam it every round because it costs 150 credits and you don't ha you shouldn't even think about it. You you have cash because you're playing smart economy, you buy the shorty as a secondary because it just makes sense. It's such a small amount of creds, it's worth buying it. So I would like it to be buffed and increase the price so the gun is more powerful than it is right now, but it's not just a no-brainer move to buy it every round. Let's imagine the gun gets um rebuffed to the way it was before. So as you can see in patch 106 and 107, there were the big changes. Spread penalty when in air increased, so you couldn't like jump peek anymore that much, which is fine, I think this should stay. But then the first fall of range reduced from nine meters to seven meters is the biggest, alongside updated hatchet multiplier from three to two, is the biggest now um, nerf on the shorty. And this, this nerf was alongside Judge and Bucky, by the way. But in general, we're going to see more and more shorties being bought. And even if the gun will go be brought back to 200 credits, nothing will change. 200 credits is still not a lot. You will still buy it, right? So I think that buffing it to maybe the same that it was before and going for like 400 credits would be enough of a change to keep the gun in its place when it comes to the design choice but also will actually reduce it massively as a no-brainer secondary weapon uh, on almost every single round. So that's, that's why I think it should be just a more powerful gun, but with a higher price range. And that's about it, because then you're not going to just spam a fucking shorty when you're playing Operator. You spend 4.7 on Operator, 400 credits on a, um, on a on shield, so that's... 5.1 already on two things. If you're going to have to spend 400 more credits on a shorty, you're probably not going to do it because you're becoming so expensive that it will make no sense long term, right? And you want to avoid just every single player having a shorty and make it a meta game where the players will just be keeping 
short range and smokes almost every single time. So, and put more, we should put more, uh, more like emphasis on, on the rifles. We shouldn't put more emphasis on guns that are, like motivate to be accurate right like uh, ghosts for examples i don't like um sheriffs as a secondary because they have pull uh, too long pullout times so that's fine but uh it's a very specific gun if you just want to su make a substitute for a rifle essentially right but shorty has a very specific design in its place and i think it's just it is what it is the meta game becomes too solidified with the shorty picks even though when you take a look at at the pick rates on rip.g it's very low like this is emea um this season so the three weeks of play uh and it has only 21 shorty picks right but i do think that this this stats only showcases when it's bought as a primary gun not as a secondary one because i can guarantee you that i've seen more than 20 picks in one game so yeah um that's about it very short video today about a shorty short gun Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts in the comments if you disagree or agree with me. Or maybe leave a comment on what topic would you like to be covered in the next video. So, bye-bye.